it's not every day a hockey team gets a chance to break a 22-year-old BCHL winning streak, but the Penticton V's had that chance to make history by beating the Chilliwack Chiefs. This is a recap of their record-breaking win. After O Canada, it was the face-off drop to get this game underway. As the V's have done so many times before, they opened the scoring and never looked back. The game didn't miss any of the rough stuff, and despite being an offensive powerhouse, the V's don't stray from a good old Donnybrook. After the scrap, the goal of the game was this beauty tic-tac-toe play. What's interesting to note is that the head coach said that his boys weren't feeling too well in this game. We had about four guys and uh, Troy Stetcher was probably the worst today. He was uh, leaving the bench uh, uh, during the, throughout the game and, and getting physically sick. And, um, but you know what, it says a lot about our, our leadership and our character. And uh, you know, we, we decided as an organization we'd play this game like a, you know, our final playoff game. Michael Garteg stopped all 20 shots for the shutout as the V's were just too much for the Chiefs. But their eyes were intense even as the game was out of hand and it was just a matter of counting down the seconds. Yeah, it's, yeah, this one kind of like puts us, we were tied and now it's kind of ours on our own, so. I don't know, I wouldn't have really thought of this when I was a young guy. Uh, didn't think I'd really play very far in hockey, but it feels great. And it's like I saw my 16 year old year, they won the BCHL title and the crowd, or the, the town just loved it. So it's, it's pretty cool to be in this position. A final salute to the hundreds of fans who made the trek to see history with their 30th straight win. Aaron Mackay in Chilliwack for BCIT Magazine. The Richmond Sockeyes are enjoying the fruits of their labor so far this season. This Junior B hockey team, which plays in the PIJHL, has had one of the best starts in league history, winning 14 straight games and collecting seven shutouts along the way. Team captain Patrick Hunter says that this team has just found a way to gel together. Considering we didn't play any exhibition games with each other, we just practiced for uh, a month before the season, and uh, both our goalies have been playing great. Both guys had uh, shutouts. It wasn't just a one goalie effort, and uh, as a team, we really came together. But, uh, Trainer Jeremy Gardner describes why this team has found a way to win. Oh yeah, I think we could definitely go all the way this year. Uh, last year, we just had a really hard working team. We weren't that talented, but our guys worked their ass off. This year, we have the talent and the determination to do it, so I think it's gonna make a good, uh, it's a good formula, and I think it can take us all the way easy. Sockeye veteran Ryan Cooper has no doubts as to whether they can contend with any junior B team. Of course. I think uh, we got what it takes. We got a lot of guys that uh, fill a lot of different roles and uh, everybody can do this thing. Assistant coach Greg Harding believes there's one reason in particular for the success. Our attention to detail so far. Um, it's, you know, we don't, uh, we have a pretty new group, a lot of young guys, a lot of new guys. and. Um, their attention to detail and their willingness to learn right off the bat and, and uh, learn the system as quickly as possible. From the goaltending to the forwards and defense, so far this group have proven to be a junior B hockey force. Aaron Mackay in Richmond for BCIT Magazine. Eight months ago, the Peninsula Panthers were the toast of the VIJHL. Winning the league title and the provincials, it seemed everything in Pantherland was perfect. But in the offseason, team owner Jackson Penny turned the club over to the league, and that brought struggles on and off the ice. We've kind of been two wins here, two losses there, that kind of thing. It's be nice to string a few wins together, get back on the winning track. But now, what's old is new again for the Panthers, as two of the team's former owners have stepped up and bought the club. Pete Zaberski, who owned the team from 99 to 07, and John Wilson, who is at the helm prior to Penny. We 
we're both really excited to be back in the league. Uh, a lot of work to be done here, but uh, I think there's a real good skill set, and um, yeah, we're really looking forward to you know the next couple weeks, couple months. This is a great franchise with a great tradition. And we just need to get back to uh, all these boys uh, uh, being proud to be Panthers and uh, and filling this barn and everybody having a good time. This was one of the bigger fish that we had to fry. I mean, it was uh, certainly on the uh, top of the agenda. It's just. Uh, encouraging to see these guys step forward and, and uh, uh, come into the league and, and uh, get back to uh, a familiar place. Junior B hockey has never been much of a money-making venture, but it was the pair's passion and love for the sport that lured them back into the game. Well, you don't go in the VIGHL ownership to make money, that's for sure. No, it's a, it's a passion. I love hockey. I always have. It didn't take too much arm twisting for me to come back. I really enjoy being here. I love the people. And the first order of business is fittingly a tribute to the past. Come Friday night, um, there's going to be some real changes. People will see it immediately. We're having former owners, former prices, so tickets will be $5. We're going to celebrate the fact that this club won the BC Championship last year. That has really never formally been done. Yeah, I know it's nice. I mean, obviously all of our friends know and our family, that kind of thing. But in the community, I mean, there wasn't really that much. I mean, I know if I was, if they had won it five years ago, that's all you would hear about for a month and a half. So, I mean, it's nice to kind of finally get that recognition. And it's nice to finally have stability in the franchise as the Panthers are hoping by taking two steps back, they can once again return to the top.